Hi guys, Rage here with a quick update. Let's see if I can keep it under five minutes. It's my goal, but whew, I might run out of breath. I watch every last one of those interviews and I have my favorite ones, but Harry was sound. He was confident. He was intelligent. The man is in the right place. He, um, he is good. We're good in America. Let's go. So he recognized Kate and William experience in the media early age. And he actually let us know how the media created the Megan versus Kate a drama. And Kate and William didn't help the situation at all. Them and their staff with the leaking and nonsense. All right. So William attacked Harry at Phil's funeral. And then uses a cold word what they use when they want to get things settled down i love you on mummy but guess what he didn't believe him on that one so during the queen funeral the briefing was out of control they were briefing against harry and megan and by the way william did not invite harry on the plane to balmoral this man here on your screen he's evil i don't want to even talk about him her cow miller camilla um, home wrecker established and been established in 1981. She was trying, she was wrecking home in, in the palace. And guess why? She's still at it, guys. I can't, I kid you not. This woman trying to destroy Harry and use Harry, um, to build her image, to rehab her image. So eventually she will get a crown on her head and she's still doing her, that job there. That woman is frigging evil. Now we all know why she went sit down and have lunch or whatever she had with Jeremy Clarkson because they went and concoct that story Jeremy Clarkson put out there. Every fairy tale have an evil villain in her. All roads led back to her. We'll get into her on a separate video. Oh my gosh, I even went over my time, guys. I might have to do a different video. So after so many years, people have been telling uh, my story. He said, it is my time to tell my story. These two on your screen right here, that woman and this woman, Kyle Mill and Bones, a.k.a. Mambalina, they deserve to be friends because they are just as evil as one another. You can't tell the difference of how evil one of the other is. Oh my God, Charles was happy for, um, I don't even know what to say about Charles. Charles is a non, Charles, I don't know. Um, William and the sibling rivalry. Will and Kate, huge Suits fan. We know that. Now we know where the story come from. Who was in love with who? William is in love with Megan because he was a um, Suits fan and was watching religiously. Harry didn't know anything about Suit. It was those two. So the story of um, that came out with it. Um, Harry knowing Suits and was watching Suits. Nope. It was William. So we find that out. But he didn't come out and say he was in love with Megan. But now we know the reverse is who it is. Right? So on this beautiful picture you're watching, that's from the book where he called Megan the captain of my soul. Which is so sweet. That is so adorable. Um, the Megan make Kate cry story was ridiculous. It was, I mean, and... It, you know, Kate bringing flowers to say, sorry, guys, I can't. I mean, Kate is evil. She should have corrected that story, and she didn't. And William ordering him to shave his beard doing his own wedding. How the hell are you going to order somebody to shave their beard after they get the okay from the queen? It's just like, um, what's her name, ordering Megan to redo all the bridesmaid dresses four days before a wedding. Who does that? How could? How dare you trying to come to a, somebody's wedding and demand things be done your way? Uh-uh, these people are sick and evil. And meeting with Kate and Will did not go well because Miss Kate got upset because she forgot something. And um, Megan say she had baby brains and she got upset. Well, I mean, seriously? Like, really, dude? I mean, there's so much um, in this interview we could cover. But I want you guys to go and take a listen for yourself. So I'm going to put some... Um, um, in the description box, I might I will put some links so you can go ahead and watch some of the clips from the interview. My God, guys, 
I went over my time. My goal was not exceeded because there's so much in interviews. Talk about um, unconscious bias, racism, and the monarchy for it to survive. It need to modernize and recognize its own bias. And if there's any changes that can be made and how a huge opportunity was missed with Megan. Guys, I run out of breath on this one. I have to come back with another video, guys. Until the next one, guys, I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers.